Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sorry it's taken me a little bit to get a new video up, but your girl's been busy. So for today's workout, I'm gonna give you all some pure, honest, brutal strength training. Today, you will all see me going through a power building session I had programmed for myself while on the journey to building back up my squat and overall quads. So other than my rest periods when I'm resting between sets, I did cut that out, but I left the footage as real, as raw as I possibly could. So you guys can really see me go through my entire workout, start to finish every single set. And so with every single set, I do make sure to put up the set number I'm on, how many reps I'm doing, and I did also include the weight that I'm using for that set. No, I am not instructing you to use that weight. That is solely the weight that I am using, just because I know a lot of people ask what weights I am using because they're just curious. So I'm just putting it up there just for the sole purpose of this video being focused on strength training and just raw, real footage. So I just wanted to throw that up there for that reason only, but please use the weights that are for your strength level only. And I did also want to mention about warming up, make sure you are properly warming up before you begin lifting and before you squat, make sure you get some warm up sets in before you get into your working sets. So as you guys see, there are five working sets up here in the workout, but that is not including the additional warm up sets that I did prior to build up to that first set of working weight. Everybody's warm up set scheme is different. Everybody has different preferences, whether they like a lengthy warm up scheme, they like a short and simple, doesn't matter. Just make sure you get some repetitions underneath your belt, get that body primed, you know, make sure you get all your form cues down and you feel really solid with the movement as you slowly increase to get to that working weight. You never just want to jump right in to your working weight without warming up first. Yeah. Brody on the line, I'm tapping in. Got out here pulling the strings for me. A girl on the line, she feeling me. Preoccupied by the motivation. Put in the time, pay the entry fee. Bro on the rise, yeah, he kind of nice. Inside of my mind, no one's real as me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no b. Swinging the mist, got me hitting these lips. I get the orders, don't get it distorted. Disconnected, I've been cordless, I've been cordial, I've been exploring. I got a whole lot, but somehow I want more of it. Yeah, I want to tour and put on for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me the pin with the cord and they catch me running through the ordinance. Remember we couldn't afford the whip. Pushing the scraper that was so ages, we blowing on grapes for the flavors. All of a sudden we major, still independent by no label. For now I'm going hard enough that the streams will lead to a house by the beach. All of this done with the speech. Filling my pockets for now and for later. I want the picket for some sign of the neighbors. I used to skip out on the playlist. Now they tax for the neighbor. Dog on the line, ain't tapping in. I'm staying clear, fake rapper friends. Kamikaze on a traffic cam. Only one shot to navigate the labyrinth of keeping it late, burn it down to the ash. My life ain't much more than imagined. I got where I'm at with the passion. Trade it all to live it backwards. Pray we ain't make it through the night. Oh, we ain't make it through the night. You can see it. When you look into my eyes, yeah. when you look into my eyes, you can see it. I've been crying all day. I've been going my way. Here you guys are watching me get into my drop set. So I literally meant I left everything in there. I just obviously sped that up, but I go ahead and I drop my weight down and now I'm going to do as many reps as possible with this weight immediately after that heavy set. So with this, if you're going to do this, I really recommend you have a spotter just in case you fail or you have safety bars next to you, whatever you gotta do. Um, but just to be safe because this, this is really brutal. At first, it feels a little bit lighter, obviously, because you drop the weight, but it catches up with you very quickly. As you will see, I'm really grinding to just push out every rep possible. Back like a madness, lit down the ashes. She do not come with no practice. Recipe, passion, and liquor with God in the passion to pray at a crash. I'm in my basket, blissful but ignorant. I'm dapper but ratchet. I play your in the track. I take the risk, look at me, stack up the chips. I play roulette with the man. Right till I die, I'm not afraid of the casket. I'm on the run, I'm chasing the thrills. I'm hungry, I'm starving, I lust for the meal. Lately, I'm blue like the bills. Yeah. I'm elevated, overeducated. I run the race with who I resonate with. I break the bread with you who work the late shift. Break the ground, shake up the stimulation. We shape the sound, need a renovation. All that they quickly vacated the premises. I feed off my energy. 
After squats, I then move on to the leg press machine and I do just leave my shoes and knee wraps on when I go heavy because it just gives me more stability and it keeps my feet from sliding. But with these, I did one prior warm up set with a plate and then I went into my working sets, which you are now seeing here. So I did 15 reps, 12, 10, eight with a double drop set on the last set, which you will see coming up. Now with leg presses, you wanna go down as far as your mobility allows, meaning as low as you can go without your lower back rounding and your butt coming off the seat. I know it's hard to see from this angle, but I personally know that when I go down and my quads hit my torso, that is about the depth I can maintain without any butt lifting, and so that's what I stick to. I rock the crown with a tilt. tilt. Ain't nobody done it like this. I'm having fun, I'm wild, I spaz when I turn with the stylus. I'm breaking them over the hips. Only got one life to live. I'm antisocial at the function. They make me out to be the bad guy. I circle micro. If you had a scope, you still couldn't see us through the glass eyes. Real evasive when it's average chases. Just in so here's that last set with the double drop set I had mentioned. So with this, you can do it yourself, but if you really want to up the intensity, have somebody who can drop your weight each time for you so you can keep your legs in place and then immediately press again. Of course, if not, it's okay. Just drop the weight yourself and just do that as quickly as you can and get right back into it. But I do have my boyfriend there so that he can drop the weight how I liked it to be dropped and then I can just get right back into it and holy hell, Heck, this freaking burns. But if y'all are gonna try this, I know y'all got it. Like I'm going places, better late than fake, just hoping that we make it. Pray we make it through the night. Oh, we make it through the night. You can see it. When you look into my eyes, yeah. when you look into my eyes, you can see it. I'm crying all day. I've been going my way. I've been going my way. When I'm crying all day. I've been going my way. Now for these quad days, I will either just end my workout with the extension split squat superset that I showed in my last video I put up before this one, or on sessions where I feel like I got a bit more left in me, I will do things this way. So starting with Bulgarian split squats, I use a closer stance to prioritize the quads and I do a drop dribble. A double drop set again, each set here using an 888 rep scheme, first with the main heavy weight, then half that weight, and then body weight. I do use kettlebells, but you can use whatever form of resistance that you would like. Now, the first set of this that you guys see me do, I had originally um, programmed 777, but it was just a tiny bit under what I truly knew I was capable of if I really gave it my all. So I did up it to 888 for the last two and it was perfect. So since these are double drop set style sets each time, the burn catches up with you very quickly, which is why I definitely would suggest pumping the reps out, obviously hitting full depth, full ROM, but just pumping them out to get through each set is going to be your best bet to make sure that you can get through everything. It's plenty of volume to ensure that your quads are under tension for a, a enough amount of time, but pumping them out is definitely a necessity but with that being said I love wearing my lifting shoes for this exercise as well because it just gives me the stability that I want on that front working leg all my other shoes flat shoes runner shoes any type of shoes they all suck I just love wearing these for this and so that is what I do but with that they are extremely clunky and so that back foot if you see throughout these sets it's kind of got a mind of its own back there doing I don't even know freaking what back there but it doesn't affect my front leg performance at all so it's fine but I did just want to point that out there because I was watching these clips back and I was like what the heck is going on but one last thing about the split squats is that I would suggest resting 20 to 30 seconds before switching sides because believe it or not split squats are not a true single leg exercise that back leg is slightly being worked and so a small bit of recovery will help keep the intensity more equivalent on both sides if you don't want to, you don't have to, that's fine. But I personally do it for better performance and you'll notice that you'll feel it a lot more equivalent on each side as far as you know how tough it is when you give yourself that little bit of recovery in between. And also you'll probably be thankful for the little bit of recovery when that burn really starts to catch up with you.
And then I went ahead and end the last part of the workout with two sets of leg extensions supersetted with Smith Machine narrow squats. Now with the narrow squats, which you will see in a second, I don't add any weight to the Smith Machine. It's just body weight, but I do like using the Smith Machine as kind of a guide to make sure I'm staying completely upright so that I can put as much emphasis on the quads as possible, treat it more so as just like burning out every last bit I can on the quads. So as you just saw there, I do the extensions. I immediately get off and walk right to the Smith machine and then get it done. Now, obviously if you work out in a really busy gym and something like this just is not possible, you can just go ahead and just do standing regular squats and just burn your quads out that way. Standard narrow body weight squats, whatever you would like. But this is my preferred method is to use the Smith machine and use this stance right here that you are seeing. And this is going to conclude the video. So I really hope you all enjoyed kind of going along with me through my squat and quad training day, a little bit of raw realness going on. So if you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, if you have any other video suggestions, please comment them down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.